slide. Thank you, Kazoo, and welcome all of you to Sony Pictures and this historic studio lot where movies have been made since 1915 at the dawn of Hollywood, nearly one century ago. We hope all of you here on Stage 8 in Culver City and watching online from elsewhere in the world come away from this day with a deeper understanding of the strength of our business and why we are so enthusiastic about the future. Today, we will give you a more detailed view of Sony Entertainment than we ever have before, including a clear picture of what we do and how we do it, as well as our strategy for growth and the numbers to back it up. Consider this meeting a down payment, the beginning of a new era of greater transparency and accountability. That, too, is part of our plan for progress. You will hear from the leaders of Sony Entertainment, who include some of the most respected and accomplished people in their fields. And you will learn more about the businesses they run, including motion pictures, television productions, media networks, which is also referred to as television networks, recorded music, music publishing, and visual media and platforms. We are diverse in the content we create, and we are one in our commitment to quality and profitability. Driving us forward under the leadership of Kazuo Harai are three key ingredients. Global growth, technological innovation, and financial discipline. And when we combine those ingredients with our determination to create new entertainment franchises and to contribute to our one stro Sony strategy, we will achieve our overarching goals to create powerful content that entertains our audiences and delivers value to our shareholders. We will talk about all of this today with a focus on our present and our strong positioning for the future. But first, a brief review of how we got where we are today. Much has happened over the past 25 years. Sony teamed up with the legendary Michael Jackson, who owned the I iconic Beatles catalog, and we formed Sony ATV Music Publishing. We later brought in Marty Van Deer, the best in the business, to run it. And last year, with partners, we acquired EMI Music Publishing, making Sony ATV the number one music publishing company in the world today. In response to the way piracy ravaged the music business, Sony first partnered with Bertelsmann to form Sony BMG, and then began to reorganize its business, cutting costs, restructuring, and developing a whole new business model to create digital opportunities. We then bought out Bertelsmann and brought in Doug Morris, the preeminent recorded music executive in the world. Under Doug's leadership, the flagship labels have been reborn in the digital age. Back in the 90s, Sony Pictures, operating primarily through its Columbia Pictures label, was beholden to third-party producers. In the 21st century, under the leadership of Amy Pascal, we recreated and rebooted labels to pursue a diverse content strategy, one that pro provides us with family films, big tent poles, and faith-based and genre movies. And establishing ourselves as masters of our own fate, we grew to earn $4.4 billion at the box office last year, our best year ever. Speaking of Amy, I have worked with her my entire time at Sony, and she is not only one of the most diligent and effective executives in the business, she, is also, she also has an unparalleled creative vision, helping us give the world some of the finest films in recent times. Now turning to television. A dozen years ago, Sony's television production business was desolate. But seeing the growing opportunity in television productions, we began to rebuild that business from scratch. We started by establishing ourselves as a premier producer of cable network dramas, and then moved into broadcast comedies and dramas. In the process, we became one of the leading independent producers of television in the world. We also linked Sony's global perspective 
and experience with the impact of technology on the development of cable and satellite channels around the world to grow our international media network business into the powerhouse it is today. Ten years ago, Sony only had 78 channel feeds in 83 countries. Today, that has grown to 127 channel feeds in more than 150 countries with nearly 950 million subscribers worldwide. Ten years ago, pictures and music were scarcely integrated with the rest of Sony. The, the entertainment companies based in the United States are now closely connected to Sony's headquarters in Tokyo. We operate within, within internal guidelines that mandate parent reviews and approvals of matters ranging from significant acquisitions to major personnel decisions, budgets, and mid-range plans. This assures ongoing communication with Tokyo, which is accompanied by a commitment to transparency throughout our entertainment businesses. Our ongoing communication is coupled with frequent and less formal business meetings with key electronics and game executives to enhance alignment on strategic initiatives. On top of that, Kaz and I speak frequently where I keep him informed about the entertainment group's activities and we coordinate our expanding One Sony initiatives. Our cross Sony collaboration is also evident in our products and how we bring them to market. From Sony movies on the latest Xperia phone to original programming for the PlayStation, we are creating entertainment experiences together. Our leadership was innovative in the face of technological change, helping create and propagate the Blu-ray disc which won the next generation format war. Vivo, the online video channel that created a new revenue stream for music. Imageworks, the Academy Award winning visual effects studio and Crackle, the multi-platform entertainment network available on computers, tablets, televisions and smartphones. And we would not have come this far without the financial discipline needed to downsize and streamline our businesses to lower costs and increase profits. We at Sony know that the disruptive effects of technological change gives us the impetus and the opportunity to explore new business models. That's why we back Vivo, which monetizes music videos on the internet. That's why we put our music, movies, and television shows on Sony's own Music Unlimited and Video Unlimited, as well as iTunes, Netflix, and other streaming services. And today, those digital sales are over a third of, record, of recorded music revenues. We aggressively pursue new ways to make money with the entertainment content that we know audiences want to hear and see. And premium content has never been more valuable than it is in our digital age. High-speed connectivity with nearly ubiquitous access has given rise to dazzling new devices for the living room, the car, and the back pocket as well as a multitude of new online services like Pandora, Netflix, and more. And the consumers who use these services and devices demand greater movies like The Amazing Spider-Man, great television shows like Breaking Bad, and great music from Elvis to Adele. Each of our businesses has taken advantage of the world's growing appetite for premium content. Sony Pictures established new film labels to meet the diverse demands of different demographic groups here in America and around the world, such as family-friendly animated movies. Sony Music took legendary labels like Columbia, RCA, and Epic and rebuilt them to take advantage of rapidly evolving musical tastes and hired cutting-edge talent like Dr. Luke to find and develop new musical artists and bring them to the world. Sony, with partners, acquired EMI Music Publishing, and now Sony ATV administers the largest library in the world right at the time when streaming and subscription services and other digital platforms have made the premium content in music libraries more valuable than ever. And in Japan, Sony Music has seized the visual media and platform opportunities that new technology affords to revolutionize the creation and delivery of entertainment to audiences in Japan and beyond. Examples of their leadership include establishment of an animation business, 
using their marketing and distribution prowess to create a third-party solutions business and creating high-tech concert halls in Japan. The market perception exists that technological change has destroyed the value of content. We have another view. As you can see from these examples, digital innovations are, in fact, the very growth drivers of entertainment. Digital has created new business models and exploitation opportunities, and more customers around the world are consuming our content than ever before. There is one more important point to make about the rising value of premium content and Sony. We not only make that kind of content, Sony makes the devices through which billions of people experience it. Sony Entertainment is collaborating more closely and productively than ever with Sony Electronics businesses. Just look at how Sony Pictures and Sony Electronics are working together on the launch of 4K televisions. Each set features special access to a selection of our movies, which were mastered into 4K to support the debut of this premier product line. No other studio or electronics company in the world is doing that today. And just last week, we all witnessed the highly successful launch of the PlayStation 4, the latest and greatest games console in the world. Sony Entertainment has teamed up with Sony Computer Entertainment to bring new and exclusive content experiences to PlayStation Network so that people who have the PS4 can get special and unique access to Sony produced entertainment. You'll hear more about that one Sony strategy during our presentations today. In fact, you'll see one new manifestation of it in a trailer we'll show you today, where for the first time the Sony logo will precede the Columbia Lady. lady. In the new year, we'll start all of our movies in exactly this way. Let me now say a few words about one of the most important aspects of our strategy. Here we are enforcing the kind of financial discipline we need across all of our businesses to boost revenues, lower costs, increase profits, and maximize our margins. Here's a guiding principle for us. No cost is too sacred to cut, or too small to examine. At the macro level, we at Sony Pictures have taken major steps to reduce cost of our talent deals in motion pictures, moving away from the first dollar gross model where talent gets paid based on revenues instead of profits, to one that makes talent partners in our success. We have also identified ways to cut the price tag of developing, producing, and marketing movies, relentlessly pursuing tax incentives wherever we can find them in the world, engaging in co-financing arrangements where it makes sense, and being vigilant in the prevention of cost overruns. But at the micro level, we also reduced overtime costs and revamped our employee contracts, vacation policies, and long-term incentive programs, all with an eye to control cost. With such measures, and through many more efficiencies, small and large, we expect strong growth in the top and bottom line across our entertainment businesses. So here are some forecasts. For Sony Pictures, our fiscal year ending 2015, expected revenue is $8.4 billion, and expected operating income margin is 7.5%. Pictures revenue is expected to grow at a compound annual growth rate in the low to mid single digits, from fiscal year ending 2013 to 2017. And over that same period, Pictures operating income is expected to grow at a compound annual growth rate in the high single to low double digits. For the music segment, our fiscal year ending 2015 expected revenue is $4.8 billion, and expected operating income margin is 9.5%. Music's revenue is expected to be flat to slightly up from fiscal year ending 2013 to 2017. And over that same period, music's operating, operating income is expected to grow at a compound annual growth rate in the mid to high single digits. This is a top level view of our guidance, and you will be hearing more details from our management team later in the day. Those are not easy goals, but I believe we have the right strategy tactics, and team to achieve them. 
we will focus our investments in those parts of our business that hold the greatest promise for higher margin growth, as we have done in the past in digital music and music publishing. Going forward, for example, you will see a significant shift in emphasis in our, in our pictures business, from motion pictures to higher margin television productions and television networks. We will focus relentlessly on creating hits and developing powerful franchises in our motion pictures, television, and music businesses because they can help assure a steadier and more predictable flow of revenue and margin growth over a period of years. The home of Spider-Man, Breaking Bad, and Beyonce can and will be the home of the next big thing in movies, television, and music. We will concentrate on global opportunities for music, film, and television, particularly in high growth markets. International expansion is essential to our long-term financial success. Every studio and music company knows it, but no studio or music company has such an international heritage and global presence as Sony. We will take maximum advantage of the premium content we create and own, especially in the extremely valuable movie, television, and music libraries we possess. In this digital age, where mobile access to and demand for entertainment is on the rise around the world, Sony's catalog of premium content are an invaluable asset we intend to fully exploit. We're doing it now with Crackle, Vivo, and more. But there is a lot more innovation where that came from, and we are determined to capitalize on it. And we will expand our contributions to the one Sony strategy in a way that helps ensure a rising tide of success raises all of Sony's ships. Together, we will offer the most compel compelling entertainment experiences that audiences crave. As we gather on this century-old lot, I can honestly say that there has never been a more exciting and promising moment for entertainment than the present one. As Sony music artist Justin Timberlake said in the Sony Pictures film The Social Network, available on Sony Blu-ray Blu or on demand from Sony Entertainment Network, this is our time. We intend to seize it and deliver to our audiences more of the great music, movies, and shows they want and deliver to our shareholders more of the profits that you deserve. So now, let's take a look at the world of Sony Entertainment, and then we'll dive right into the individual businesses, beginning with Sony Pictures. <laughs> 